What's up everybody? Pete and Shelby here for Truck Route Detours. We're heading out today to stop in Chicago at the Jingbu Marketplace. So let's get into the episode. Well, good morning. It is Tuesday. No, it's Wednesday. It is a bright and sunny day. All of the sun is really deceiving because it's only 34 degrees outside. So it's good, but it's not that good. Well, yesterday was kind of another crap day, but yesterday was Tuesday. But it was a case of the Mondays because we had the holiday on Monday and I took it off. And I don't know what it is about the first day back to work, but it seems like the first day back to work, I'm never, never good on the first day. Always takes that one day to kind of uh, get your system back into the swing of things, get the, back in the saddle as it were. So what we got to do today is go to Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to drive through what's left of Ohio, not middle of Ohio, uh, we're about an hour west of Cleveland, in a rest area, and I will think up the rest area, probably uh, say in the overhead, voiceover, what this place actually is, and will probably get a caption right there saying where this is. Um, Today we will drive through Indiana and on into Illinois, go through Chicago again, up into Wisconsin, through Milwaukee, and we're going to be heading all the way up to Appleton, Wisconsin, to Quality Truck Care, where we will be dropping this trailer and uh, wait on figuring out what our next load is to, uh, to do. I had a request from home from a friend's son pick up some fancy chopsticks and there's a store in Chicago that I like to stop at to get those chopsticks so perhaps if everything goes right and the timing is right we'll make a stop uh, I call it the Jingle I'm probably saying it wrong, so if we do get that, we'll ask somebody and make sure we're pronouncing it properly. So, it's called the Jingbu Marketplace, it's in Chicago, right next to the highway, it's right on the highway exit, so it's easy for me to get off with this big ocean liner. We gotta take a puppy for a walk? Wanna give me a shake? How does she come? Yeah! That's my girl! That's my girl. Alright, we're gonna go outside. Have a little fun. Maybe we'll play some, play some frisbee. It's a good morning for frisbee. So, let's go outside.
Portage, Indiana, just outside of the greater Chicago area. This is usually a good stopping point, uh, especially if you're just about to go through town, uh, especially at this hour. It's getting close to 2 o'clock, and uh, pretty much rush hour is from about uh, 1.30 until about uh, 7 or 8. That really depends on the day. Um, and in reality, the only good time to travel through Chicago with no delays and no problems at all is usually between 2 a.m. and 4. So, not the best time to go through, but we still have to go through because we can't waste time and just sit here and wait for 2 a.m. to come around. So, stop and get a beverage. And uh, the doggy's got to do her business too. And then we'll hop at it. And uh, perhaps we'll still try to make that stop at that... Uh, Asian market and uh, we'll check that out. Okay, so yeah, here we take the Kimball Road exit right off of I-94 and it takes us right down into this, this is an accident uh, investigation site, um, but it, 9 times out of 10 it's completely empty and it makes a perfect parking area for a semi truck and I've even, I even checked in with that DOT officer right there and he said it was just fine. Yeah, Jungbu Marketplace is where we're at. 
Um, it's uh, located in the Avondale section of Chicago, right, cause right off of Kimball Road. Um, it's first established here in January of 1992. Uh, they offer an extensive variety of Asian-focused grocery, fresh produce, meats, and seafood. As you go through, you can stop by the Banchan Bar. Uh, Banchan literally translates in Korean to side dish. Um, a lot of in Korean, the side dishes are, are, are served ahead of the main course. They're not an appetizer though. They represent a category onto themselves. Um, they're snacks within a meal that function as a complementary contrast or a condiment all to their own. Um, it features things like kimchi and uh, garlic stem. Right back here in the deli section, you get your good cuts of meat, like your shabu beef, which is really thin slices of beef made to be uh, served, uh, actually cooked right at the table. Um, also, right next here, we have a sashimi platter for $25. Great deal. I always pick up some sashimi while I'm here. So as I make my way to the back of the grocery store, um, they have here what's known as the Jung Boo Snack Corner. Um, it's a local favorite. Uh, they offer homemade Korean cuisine um, that focuses on good taste, quality, and absolutely great price. Um, I had right here the Tuk Danbu Guk, which is a, a rice, cakes, and dumpling soup with a side of kimchi. Um, now, when you say, you heard me say rice cakes, these are Korean rice cakes, and they're very different than uh, than uh, the rice cakes you find in your mouth. There's rice cake right there. Um, now, rice cakes for Korea, um, they are actually made with steamed flour, uh, made with various grains, uh, including glutinous or non-glutinous rice. Um, and there, many times, they're um, uh, they're pounded um, from the cooked grains, and it almost has like a, um, a pasta-like uh, taste to it, or uh, texture to it. Um, now, of course, this is served with kimchi, and you'll ask me, well, what is kimchi? I've never had Korean food before. Well, in Korea, kimchi is really a staple. Uh, it's a traditional side dish made from salted and fermented vegetables, uh, most commonly cabbage and radishes, with a variety of seasonings like chili powder, scallions, garlic, ginger, and uh, salted seafood. Um, there's hundreds of varieties of kimchi that can be made in different vegetable combinations and main ingredients. Um, but this kimchi was wonderful, and in fact, uh, it's in a lot of their dishes. And on the way out, I'm going to show you these dumplings, that uh, a kimchi dumpling that's just fantastic. So yeah, this being an Asian market, it's really great uh, to find just all the things you want. Um, I, I love picking up frozen dumplings in the frozen section. Um, there's actually a kitchenware uh, section that I, I forgot to take video of, but it offers all kinds of uh, um, unique um, Asian cooking uh, utensils, uh, electronic appliances and whatnot. Um, uh, an unlimited uh, choice of uh, ramen noodles, um, the instant ramen noodles if that's your preference, um, with a lot more flavors than that, well, just the chicken and beef that you'd find in the, the department stores or the regular grocery stores. Um, every kind of uh, fish oil, every kind of oyster sauce, soy sauce, um, anything to your heart's desire when it comes to Asian cuisine. And a lot of times you can infuse an Asian uh ingredients into some of the normal foods that you cook and you may really find that uh, you have a really good success with it. Um, I like to pick up items here also because sometimes we do sushi in the truck believe it or not. Um, I'll roll my own sushi so this is a good place to pick up your uh, your uh, seaweed wraps um, and uh, and those items. So real quick we'll get checked out here and we'll uh, head back out to the truck. So on your way out, you have to pay a visit to the Mandu Stand, which has lately earned a cult following in Chicago for its colossal, tasty steamed dumplings. Uh, you can get them packed with uh, kimchi, pork, or uh, sweet red bean paste. At $2 a pop, they're one of the city's best bargains, and it's a great thing to grab on the way by. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you 
we'll go We're better off tomorrow But who knows, who knows If we get joy or sorrow Jungle Marketplace, absolutely the best place to stop, especially if you're driving a truck. But if you're not driving a truck, I recommend it anyway. So, it is on North Kimball Avenue, just off the uh, interstate, and uh, just some fantastic food, uh, good place to shop, and uh, even if you're not looking for something, some other stuff like their produce is cheaper than most places especially considering it's right right in the middle of the city so, um, we picked ourselves up uh, up a few things well we were in there and I think we're gonna be on the road for a couple more days we got ourselves some of these nice uh, Steam dumplings, they'll fit perfectly in my little cooler. Pork steam dumplings. And then for later tonight, maybe pushing it to tomorrow, we got some fresh salmon sashimi, which is fantastic. Oh, one more thing. I also had a request from uh, my best friend's son, Avery. He, uh, he wanted some fancy chopsticks, so I picked up two sets and uh, these are really nice. They're actually called uh, uh, chopsticks for special guests. So, uh, but they're colorful. They're nice. Uh, I've used them here in the truck. I've also used them at home. Uh, and they're cheap. Uh, Three dollars a piece. Uh, if you want the super super cheap, you can get a giant pack of the super cheap ones for like seventy nine cents. A big pocket bag. Of or you can just steal some from the fast food joint. But these look nicer. I like to eat with chopsticks quite a bit. I think it's better, but who am I? All right, um, what's next? Next, we get back on the highway. By the time we got in and out of there, we had somebody eat for dinner. Traffic on the highway is gonna be a lot easier, flowing a lot faster. So you know what? If you're stuck in traffic, going through Chicago, stop, have some lunch. It'll be in your benefit probably anyway, both for your stomach and for probably your stress level. All right, well, that's it for today's episode. If you like what you saw, then by all means, smash on that like button. And if you want to leave a comment, I, I am more than happy curious. to get feedback on how my episodes strong. are going. And but I love to hear how everyone is doing. If you'd like to subscribe to our wrong. channel at any you point go, in the video, you can click you on that go. little watermark right we'll down there that says tomorrow, Truck Route, and that'll subscribe knows, you to our page. Knows, and if you want notifications, click on the bell, sorrow. and you'll get a notification every time we upload new content onto the channel. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon, and we'll see you down the highway. The fire in your heart and your soul Don't rage, you're desiring to you.